exploding. Kate raving mad take wild revenge on Meg after Sussex outrageous gift on her birthday. Ahead of the highly publicized royal rift, Meghan Markle seemed to have a close relationship with her sister-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge. They carried out a series of joint engagements, including a day out at Wimbledon, when Meghan found her feet within the royal family. After realizing that Meghan was someone special, Prince Harry was reportedly keen to introduce her to Kate, who he has always been extremely close to. The meeting was very important to the loved-up prince, who wanted the Fab Four to get along. Trying to make a good impression, Meghan didn't arrive empty-handed and brought Kate a thoughtful gift as it was close to her 35th birthday. When she arrived at William and Kate's Kensington Palace apartment, Meghan handed Kate a dream diary. A friend said, Meg had bought Kate a small birthday present, a very smart leather-bound dream diary for her thoughts and ideas which Kate loved. Meghan's gifts to Kate is seemingly a thoughtful trend despite her and the Duke of Sussex quitting their senior roles. She reportedly purchased the Duchess of Cambridge another surprising present last year amid the rift. Just before their wedding in May 2018, Meghan also allegedly gave Kate a bracelet to thank her for helping out. It was the Sophia Day Company's Kensington bracelet, which was also said to have been gifted to six of Meghan's bridesmaids and best friends. Kate's birthday plans were overshadowed in 2020 as it came the day after Meghan and Harry announced their plans to quit the royal family. Their bombshell statement resulted in a series of logistical phone calls and chats between the Queen, Charles and William as they tried to work out what to do next. In December 2020, Meghan and Harry also sent Christmas presents to George, Charlotte and Louis in the post, and the two families chatted on video call over the holidays. Speaking on True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat Before Christmas, royal expert Katie Nichols said, I think it's no secret that there were great tensions and great difficulties in the relationship. There was an unbreakable bond between them and they were so close. I don't think they will ever be close the way that they were, but there has been nine months now since Meg's sit. I think relations are better between them. I know they are in touch, they do talk. Harry has sent over a load of Christmas presents for the Cambridge children. They will zoom, they will chat over the holidays. There is contact, there is friendly contact. But it's not what it was. The married couple will allegedly reunite with their nieces and nephews next month after it was confirmed the couple will be attending the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. In other news, Meghan Markle's statement about Kate Middleton in Oprah interview has made it hard for the Sussexes and Cambridges to patch up. Royal expert Ian Lloyd believes that the rift between the brothers and sister-in-laws would be difficult to resolve since Meghan publicly humiliated Kate in her tell-all sit-in. He told Express.co.uk, I just can't see it happening, particularly with William. There was all the stuff about Kate and Meghan crying at the wedding in the Oprah Winfrey interview. I think they shot themselves in the foot with William and Kate, I don't think they will get anywhere near them. He said, it's a family and the relationship can be repaired but I think it would need a long-term investment from both sides and I think it would involve Harry spending time here and doing things without giving interviews. Meghan told Oprah that Kate made her cry right after her wedding to Prince Harry in 2019. Meghan added Kate had owned it, and she apologized. Added Kate had